Hey guys, I just wanted to show off a little something here. I guess you could say it's my Ladies of G.I. Joe collection. Uh, these are all the classified series ones. And uh, I got these when I was working at Target. Well, except for the last one. I'll get into that in a moment. But when I was working at Target, I noticed they were releasing some classified issues of the, um, of the Joe characters. And what I consider being a hybrid mishmash of the uh, cartoon and the comics the 80s cartoon and the comics so i really like that and what we have here um basically the first one i ended up getting uh when i was at target is lady j lady j was one of them that i ended up getting because i've always liked lady j i don't know what it was about her but i think there was something that people just liked about her character uh and such so I got, I ended up getting Lady J, and uh, this is the box she came in, of course. I haven't taken her out yet, but you can see the artwork on there. It's very nice. Uh, but like I said, I haven't taken her out yet. She's number 25 in the Classified series, so it's real nice to have. So I have her, and she has a little hook here, so if I want to hang her up, I can hang her up. But yeah, I ended up getting her, and then you can see she comes with a lot of stuff. She comes with her uh, bows that she's known to have. Um, she comes with a gun, and uh, her hat, a little pouch and stuff. Just all the, all the accessories that she's known to have uh, with her um, are in there. I haven't taken her out yet because I just like to have her in there. There's a lot of people that will probably buy two of these. One to display in the box, and one to not display in the box, you know. But, you know, there, yeah, like, there she is. And uh, just really nice to have her and everything. Just really happy to have her in the um, collection. Um, I mean, I, when I saw her, I had to get her. There's no doubt about that. I, when I saw her, I had to get her. And, you know, that's what I did. So I was just real happy to get her. And then you got uh, right here um, Lady J and then all the logos and, like, number 25, like I said. The next one I ended up getting was Scarlet. This is number five, believe it or not, in the series. And she doesn't come with many accessories like Lady J, but she comes with her standard one, her knives, her crossbow, and such. So, And you can see where it fits into uh, certain areas of the figure. But it's really nice. Uh, she actually was, you know, what? Actually, here's what's crazy. Uh, she wasn't flying off the shelf like Lady J was. Lady J was flying off the shelf. Uh, Scarlet was not. Scarlet was actually, you know, uh, <laughs> joined by many other Scarlets there and everything. But yeah, I guess people liked Lady J more than Scarlet. But you can see the artwork on the back here. It's really nice and everything. You know, a little bit of her background there and, and everything. So really cool. It's really nice artwork. And this is the same artwork that's on the back of the um, of the Lady J one um, as well. Lady J has that same artwork um, as well. You can see. I just, yeah, I just had to get her as well as in the moment I saw her come out. And again, what's crazy is she sold out more uh, than, uh, than Scarlet, which is kind of surprising, but again, I guess it's because people liked Lady J a lot more growing up, uh, with G.I. Joe than they did Lady, than they did Scarlet, but Scarlet had her moments, there's, there's no doubt, she had her moments, uh, she's definitely, you know, she's definitely playing a huge role in a lot of the live action G.I. Joe films lately, so, uh, especially Snake Eyes, whether you liked that movie or you didn't, uh, she played a role in that, so that was kind of cool to see, uh, but yeah, there she is, um, and everything, you know, this she is, <laughs> I'm trying to think about the words I'm going to say here, <laughs> sorry, uh, but yeah, this she is and everything, but yeah, just really happy to have her, she doesn't have a hook like Lady J does, so unfortunately, if I have to, if I'm going to display her in box, I have to display her differently, right now I have them stacked up over here, um, you know, you see right there in the reflection, you know, that's kind of where I have them on top of that, uh, My Little Pony, uh, box, if you will, that's the, um, one of those mystery boxes, you know, that you get that basically goes out for display at stores. So I have them like lying on top there. But yeah, it's, uh, but yeah, I, I like, but yeah, overall, I'd, uh, like I said, if I'm going to display her, I'd have to get a shelf. Or, well, I have shelves and everything. I have to do a lot of rearranging if I was to do that, uh, just to display her and all that. So, 
So just, uh, you know, really glad to have her, though, uh, in the collection. And then here, got to give a shout out to Michael Mercy of the 80s Toy Museum, because when he did a review on her, I was surprised that this one was out. So I figured I got to get my hands on it. And eventually I did. This is Courtney uh, Covergirl uh, Kirkner, uh, Kragner, uh, uh, Kragner, if you will. I can't pronounce that last name, but it's Covergirl. And you can tell that the um, art is a little um, anime inspired, in my opinion. A little anime inspired. I think it's one of those artworks, Michael, if you're watching, that uh, basically some they probably did a contest or something and said, hey, can you, who can come up with a unique design for CoverGirl? I think there was a contest maybe in, you know, uh, in-house at Hasbro to see who could come up with a nice cover for CoverGirl. And I'm, I'm guessing this one run out, uh, won out, I should say, this one won out. Uh, I could be wrong, but, you know, that's just an opinion. But yeah, she too has a thing on here to where if I want to, you know, display her on the wall, I could do that. Uh, she's number 59 in the series, number 59. So it took her a while to get a release. And then there's her figure right there in the corner, right there. There's her figure right there in the corner. I will say this about it compared to the other ones. It's got a nice glossy finish on the, co on the cover, on the box art, I should say has a nice little glossy finish, which is why you can see a bit of a reflection. And there you go, that's her text, a little badges and everything associated with her. And then, like I said, 59, and then her name. And then on the back, instead of having the artwork, it shows you what she comes with and how big she is. You know, she's six inches. She comes with everything that Michael Mercy talked about in his video, because he did do a review of her um a couple of, about like last well basically last year almost a year ago he did a i would say like several months ago about five six months ago he did a review on her and uh yeah that's what she comes with and everything and she does have great posability again michael mercy did a, a video on her so i'd highly recommend checking him out and then on the side here you have cover art again the same cover art that you see um on the um on the front Again, I think somebody, I think Hasbro in-house did a contest to see who could come up with a nice, you know, nice design for the cover work uh, for for cover girl. That's just my opinion. And I think maybe because of her name and, you know, she's a supermodel, a former supermodel and everything turned military strategist. I think it's, you know, it's, I think Hasbro wanted it done this way to appeal more to like not just boys, not just collectors. But to uh, girls, to women, if you will. So not just boys and men, but then, you know, that collect this or play with this. But girls and bo girls and women uh, um, as well. I think that's why they did it. But anyway, though, guys, that's uh, pretty much it for this video. Again, I, have, I haven't taken them out yet, so I do apologize for that. Uh, but give me your thoughts down below. Again, check out Michael Mercy's video on uh, Cover Girl. I don't know if he's done one. I think he's done one on Lady J, so... If I can find that, I'll put that there at the end here. I don't know if he's done one on Scarlet. If he's done one on all three of them, if he's done videos on all three of them, I'll link them at the end here. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, again, shout out to Michael Mercy for reviewing this and giving me the idea to get it myself. And really, guys, that's all I'm going to say. Till, so till next time, God bless, take care, and I am out.